What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Lizzie the Gifted, and I am so freaking excited to talk to you about this topic. I guarantee, yes, I use that word, guarantee that this strategy that I'm about to share with you could blow up literally any rapper. Get it. Visions of a legend, you can never tie me down. Remember when they hated on me, but they like me now. Dripping way too heavy, gotta wipe me down. Living in the club, they try to strike me down. It could even blow up any producer. It could blow up anybody. But I wanted this to be specific for rappers, okay? I guarantee that if anybody actually takes this advice, you'll blow up. It's not easy. It takes a lot of work. But I guarantee, bro, I guarantee freaking tea this will work. I was on the phone with somebody today. Shout out to my man Flossie Brim from Brooklyn. Shout out Brooklyn. And I just, dude, I just literally spewed this strategy at him. And I was like, oh my God, this actually could work for anybody. And I want to share with everybody. I'm not afraid to share this strategy. Number one, I should do this myself. And maybe I'll do something of, of the sort. But I'm not afraid to share this because... 1% of 1% of people who hear this are actually going to do it. It's so hard and difficult that I don't think everybody watching this is even going to do it. But I want to throw it out there and see. Because if somebody actually does do this, I think you'll blow up. I'm like very certain you'll blow up. Okay. So, this strategy is going to involve two phases. I guess you could call it... Yeah, it'll involve two phases. Okay. Phase one is gonna involve your content. Phase two is gonna involve your outreach. I'm gonna break down the exact strategy. So let's start with the content, phase one. All right, and this is very specific, by the way, this strategy, all right? Okay, so phase one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get beats, right? You, have, you can literally get these beats from anywhere, from YouTube, from producers, get to starterpack.com, get yourself 15 free beats, doesn't matter the license of the beats. You get basic license, doesn't matter, okay? All you're gonna do, you're gonna grab, you know, you might write you might write your music, you might freestyle, whatever. You're gonna, you're gonna write a verse, or write it, or just think of it if you freestyle, whatever. That's only gonna go up to 59 seconds. That's it. You're gonna take your phone, you're gonna do a selfie video of you rapping that verse. Now, if you're the type of person who writes the bars on their phone, maybe you want to memorize it. If you're the type that wants to handwrite it, you can literally hold the thing up and wrap it while you're reading. Doesn't matter. I would suggest put a tiny bit of effort, try to memorize that verse, and wrap it like full on with your phone, like selfie. Got it? You're going to film that video on TikTok, not on Instagram, not on your camera. Okay? Film it on TikTok. All right, and I'm a, we could do a whole, I actually have a podcast episode where I talk about strategies for TikTok specifically and how to grow on it um, in terms of like certain best practices. Um, you could go check that out on my Music Mastery podcast or you could literally just look at, I might do another episode, but don't worry about that. You're gonna post that on TikTok, okay? Put your little caption, um, whatever. Then, you know when you, I don't know if you've used TikTok at all, but when you use TikTok and you post something and you hit next, you can actually have that go right to Instagram. I'm gonna pull up TikTok on my, on my phone right now and I'll show you what I mean. So, you know, and I'm, I'm sorry that like, you know, I'm sorry that this isn't like super official of a video. Doing a little video, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you hit the check mark, you hit next. Right there at the bottom of the screen where it says automatically share to, see how it's selected for Instagram? You could have it for here, that'll be your Instagram stories. You're gonna press this button and have it automatically share to Instagram. When you hit post, I'm not going to, when you hit post, it'll go right to Instagram. Okay, so I'm not obviously gonna use this video, I just did some fake video, okay? So, you'll go to Instagram, right? You'll wait for it to load on TikTok, you go to Instagram, post it there, use a great, Caption, I can get into caption writing in another episode, another video, but use a good long caption or, or literally just be like something, you could literally do something as simple as like, you could literally do something as simple as, um, 
tag one of your friends if you think this is hot. Or you could put fire emoji or poop emoji. Or you could put, have you heard this before? Or tag a producer that you think I could work with. Like just anything like that. Quick caption. Like I don't even think you need to write a long caption. Boom, do that, okay? Post that on your story. Um, all that good stuff, right? So there right there is the content. Now wait, here's the part where, I'm not gonna talk about the hard part of this yet. I wanna get both phases. So that's phase one, is the content. Locking that in. Phase two, the outreach, okay? There's two methods to doing the outreach. We're gonna outreach on Instagram. We're gonna use Instagram to outreach. In my opinion, Instagram is the best platform to network. You could use TikTok too. I use Instagram. I'm gonna use this strategy for IG because the DM capabilities on Instagram are way better. You can do video selfies, you can do audio messages. There's a lot. And there's more ha there's a lot more hashtags, there's more active users on Instagram. I would go with Instagram best networking tool, okay? There's two ways you can do this. Number one, there's the hashtag method. You you take, you know, I, I have an episode called 1000 fans in 90 days. The, the strategy is basically you take hashtags, you type the hashtag on Instagram. Um independent music producer or bedroom producer or hip hop producer, whatever. You find uh, 10 different accounts and comment and like all their posts and then you could shoot them a DM and start networking with them, whatever. But And you do that 12 hashtags, 10 comments, 10 posts per hashtag. That makes it 120 interactions. You could do that, that's for width. I like that idea for growing your following. Or the other method, which I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start doing this on Monday, is you, you, you say, I'm gonna pick a number. I'm gonna pick, me personally, right? I'm a producer and I'm trying to get more rappers to rap on my beats. I'm trying to connect with more rappers. So I'm gonna only do 10 rappers a day. That's it, five days a week. I'm gonna do 50 rappers a week, that's it. But gen I'm talking about genuine connections. I'm gonna find rappers, I'm gonna really take my time and find rappers that I think sound really good and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at their stuff. I'll probably check out a song of theirs if they, if, you know, if they have the link in their bio. And I'm gonna send them a video DM. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. If you're a rapper, here's what you do. I would suggest going to producers. Don't go to rap. If you're a rapper, you can go to other rappers, but it's so competitive, it's so nitty gritty. I, I think it's fine, but I would suggest going to producers, beat makers, mixing engineers, go to those people. Trust me, I'm a producer myself, and I know what angle producer, producers are coming from the angle of wanting to work with rappers, Rappers are coming from the angle of like, compete, compete. Producers aren't trying to compete with rappers. Producers are trying to link with rappers. So go to producers, got it? You could try influencers, repost pages are cool, but I really do think that producers, there's so many producers like me who wanna link with rappers, trust me. Not every producer is just trying to get your money. A lot of producers really wanna help you. So go with producers, right? You're gonna, you're gonna most producers have their beats. Comment on a bunch of their beats, like this is fire, blah, 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 blah. Maybe like three of their posts. Then you're gonna shoot them a video DM. And you're gonna be like, yo bro, just wanna let, like, let's say the person's name is Kaze. That's one of my producer friends on Instagram. In fact, you should go follow him if you're a rapper. Kaze Beats, he's super dope. K-A-Z-E-B-E-A-T-S, Kaze Beats, right? All you gotta do is shoot him a video DM, be like, yo Kaze, bro, I love your videos, I love your beats, you can literally, Kaze, I love your beats, bro. I love your videos. I think what you're doing is sick, bro. Just wanted to let you know I'm supporting. I just gave you a follow. Hopefully we can connect. Bam, video DM, done. Next, go do that nine more times in a day. Trust me, right there. That's the key, is the outreach. Producers that get, now, now if the dude tries to start saying, yo, you could buy my beats here, check out my beat stars. It's cool, <clears throat> just be like, bro, I'm not really looking to buy beats right now. Just say that, be like, yo, I respect the hustle, I'm not trying to buy beats. Don't buy any beats. By the way, I, I wanna throw this out there really quick. I'm a producer, I'm trying to sell beats. How many producers that you know that are trying to sell beats are telling you not to buy beats? I'll wait. I'm the only producer here saying don't buy beats. With this strategy, you don't need to buy beats. You don't. You actually don't. I'm gonna explain why. The last piece of this, the catch. Here's the catch. You gotta do this strategy every single day for 365 days in a row. 
You cannot miss a day. Put that commitment. Doesn't matter if you're on vacation. Doesn't matter if you have work for 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours, 70 hours. Doesn't matter if you have kids. Doesn't matter if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend bugging you, nagging you. Nope. Doesn't matter if you have school. Nope. This strategy is going to work if you do it every day. Let's be realistic. If you miss one out of those days, obviously, bro, it's not a big deal. If you miss one day, obviously it's not. But you know what this is going to do? This is going to do so much more for you than just get you exposure. This is going to do help your mentality. After those 365 days, you know what's going to happen? I don't know what kind of exposure you'll get. I, I can almost guarantee you're going to get massive exposure. I can almost guarantee it. But other than the exposure and whatever else happens with that, you are going to be mentally tough. You are going to be really, 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 really confident in yourself. I guarantee it. I was listening to an audio book called Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. If you don't know who that is, freaking look it up. But Russell Brunson said in the book, if you publish a piece of content every single day for 365 days in a row, you'll never have money problems again. That's why I do a podcast every day. That statement right there. Now, I think doing a song every day is going to be too hard, but this, this strategy costs you zero freaking dollars. See my eyeball? Zero freaking dollars, bro. It costs you no money. How many hours a day does this take? I would say two. Depends how long it takes you to write a verse. I would say two hours a day. Do not be picky. This is what's important. Don't sit there and go, I want every verse to be perfect, bro. Everything's got to be fire. No, bro, it doesn't actually. It does not need to be. It doesn't matter. Not all of my podcasts are super good. They're not. Some of them suck. I do it every day. Some of them are going to suck. It happens, bro. Here's who this is for. This is for the, the, the entrepreneurial self-producing artist. The 1% of 1% of rappers. If you heard this and you start thinking, eh, it's not really for me. I'm like really trying to do something else. You're bullshitting. If you're thinking to yourself, bro, I don't know, bro. I don't think I can. I'm th- I don't know. I got work, bro. I got it. Cool. This isn't for you. You're bullshitting. But if, if you're sitting here motivated and you're like, damn, I hella want to do this. It's for you, bro. You can do it. Now, if you go 12 days in a row and then you like miss a day, Please, 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 please do not be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Do not beat yourself up. Just start over. Don't beat yourself up. By the way, this is why I say you got to start over. Because you might sit here and at the end of it all, if you did 364 and you only missed one day, that's actually like, logically that's not a big deal. But here's the problem. I know, I know this. If you miss one day and you are okay with missing a day and then you say, I'm not going to start over, you're not going to miss just one day. You'll miss more. Down the road, you'll miss one day. You're going to keep listening to that voice in your head that says it's okay to miss a day. You'll miss two days. Maybe you'll miss a week. Maybe you'll miss a month. Then you'll give up on the whole thing. I, I know, I just, I just know for a fact that's how the brain works. Don't miss a day. Can I tell you something honestly? I'm actually jealous. This is going to sound so arrogant, what I'm about to say, and I actually don't care. I am so jealous of you that you just got this strategy from me. I'm jealous of you because had I heard this, I'm I'm like, I'm like, ugh. I'm like mad at myself that I didn't do this. Like, I'm going to do this, but right now I'm so focused on building a business as a music producer that I'm going to do more of a variation. I mean, I'm doing this with my podcast, but the strategy I just gave you is better than my own strategy that I use for myself. The strategy I use for myself is literally just make a podcast every day, post it on your IG story. It's, that's it. The, the, the strategy I just gave you is better than that strategy. It's so much better because you're constantly pumping out content. I'm going to give you, there's literally no cons to this at all. There's only pros. I'm going to tell you a couple of them. You never need to buy beats. You never need to buy beats. You can get beats from anywhere. 
because you're not putting these verses on streaming platforms. You're just posting them on TikTok and Instagram. That's all you're doing. You're not posting them on, you can get as many views as you want because they're not monetized views. You're bulletproof with producers. You are literally bulletproof. Like, I'm gonna give you an example. I have a website called giftedstarterpack.com. If you go and go to that website, you can literally get 15 beats from me for free. Basic licenses, which means you get like a limited amount of streams. Here's the catch, bro. Listen to me. I'm, I'm actually telling you this to show you how committed I am to helping you. On the next page of that, you're gonna see a little sales offer that I give you where you can upgrade the licenses to all of those 15 beats um, to unlimited licenses for $15. It's a stupid offer. You'd be dumb not to take it. But if you're going to use this strategy, you don't need to do that. You don't need to go buy my beats. Go download my 15 free beats, get to starterpack.com. Use this strategy. You just got beats for two weeks. You don't need to pay me. Take them. You can get unlimited amounts of views on TikTok. You might blow up. You might blow up. Off, off a TikTok video from you doing this. And you don't need to pay me a cent. Why, bro? It's basic licenses for streams. You got it, bro. Take it. So, by the way, there's hella other producers doing what I'm doing. The whole funnel thing where they're giving beats away and then they're selling you something. By the way, every producer doing that, all of their offers are incredible. Like I'm not, I don't think any producer doing the funnel thing is bad. Everybody's funnel is incredible. Everybody's offer is too good to be true. And it's, and it is true. It's not too good to be true. I mean, it's great. So I'm not knocking producers for this at all. Like it's a good thing that they're doing this, but like, I, I don't think any other producer is going to tell you what I just told you. I really don't think that any other producer, I just gave you this strategy for free. I just told you not to buy my beats. I don't think there's any other, you know why? You know why I'm not afraid to say this? Because I honestly don't think anybody's gonna really do this strategy for one year straight. I really don't think so. So I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of what could happen from this. I don't know if this video is gonna blow up or go viral. I don't know if this podcast episode is gonna go viral or blow up. I have no idea and I don't care either way. I'm just here to give you free value. If you like anything that you heard, guess what? Here's what you could do to pay me back, okay? You could literally just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like if you're on YouTube watching this, bro, see that red button? Click subscribe, bro. Honestly, like, I just gave you a free strategy and a, and a free set of beats. Like, all you gotta do is click subscribe and click the like button. That's payment. If you're listening to this on the podcast, literally, bro, if you could, and th th this, this is where I'm gonna sound like I'm kind of begging you, but like, I'm literally giving you a free strategy on how to win and blow up and I'm going to give you free beats to get you started and tell you not to buy my beats. The dopest thing you could do is if you are listening to this podcast, take the episode, copy the link, go to your DMs and send it to somebody else. Literally just be like, yo, you need to hear this strategy. My boy Leezy just painted the strategy on how to blow up. You got to hear it. That's the payment right there. I gave you a free strategy. I told you not to buy my beats. I literally just am giving you beats. And I'm giving you the option to buy them if you want, but I'm literally giving you a reason not to buy my own beats. I'm putting myself out of business for you to blow up. The least you could do is share this episode. The least you could do is share the episode. I hope you enjoyed it, all right? If I was a rapper watching this, I'd freaking enjoy it, okay? So, thank you for watching if you got this far. Thank you for listening if you got this far. And I definitely will talk to you again. If you're on the podcast, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. If you're on my YouTube channel, you know I'm going to see you again this week. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately. So, thank you so much. And uh, I will talk to you again soon. Peace.